Hey YouTube, West Texas Prepper. I'm gonna bring you a unboxing video. Um, Salty Shellback sort of stole my idea opening this thing up with a chainsaw, so uh, that ain't gonna happen. And then um, my wife uh, got a box in at the same time that I did and had the same tape on it and grabbed mine and opened it up. So uh, the chainsaw's out. I might have to, I can just pull this off and do that, but before I um, get into <clears throat> what this is, I already know what it is. I, I was originally planning on not opening this up until I shot this video so I could be a little bit surprised on what I had, uh, but because of some uh, mix-up, that didn't happen. I was contacted about two, maybe three weeks ago now from Outdoor Products. Uh, you can probably remember I did a a review on the outdoor product um, their waterproof box this is the small one I haven't done I sort of included this one too this is the cell phone or waterproof cell phone dry box I sort of showed that one too um, but I was contacted through email from a gentleman at outdoor products and I was really uh, leery at first because I've had uh, some numerous contacts from uh, various people saying they're representing various companies and when I check into it uh, that is not the truth and so I went to their website found out about the guy found out he worked there got his email emailed him because it uh, the contact that I had was through YouTube Google Plus and it took me a couple of days to find it so I just used my other email address to contact him and he said that he was working with another youtuber Anthony over at Bibles and Barbells and that he had sent him some gear for review and he wanted to know if he could do the same thing he'd seen my review on the dry boxes and was really pleased with that and evidently there's some other youtubers besides us that are doing reviews on their products and I said sure I would be more than blessed to do that I was uh, very humble the fact that he asked me to do that just because I don't have near the numbers as some of the other youtubers do um, and so I just I felt real humble that he had asked me to do that so I said that I would but I also had an email uh, emailed with him this week before I made this telling him that I was going to offer full disclosure and I told him that the gear and equipment that I review in my videos is gear and review that I have purchased out of pocket and so this would be the first review that I had done on a piece of gear that had been sent to me. And so we went back and forth through email and had talked about a few things that I was thinking about for the gear review. And uh, he said that was fine. And he just, he wanted me to be honest about it. And that's what they're looking for is evidently the people that they're sending this equipment out. And I'm sort of speculating here, but it would just make sense to me, are different people from various interest looking at the same gear to see who they could probably target for their advertising and that makes perfect sense to me because i can i can look at something like this dry box man this is great for people that use watercraft uh, this is a great dry box for people like myself who are into prepping this is also a great dry box for people like myself who are into geocaching this makes a great geocache um, the real bright hunter orange ones that they have probably not so much uh, but this one would be great put some camouflage paint on it maybe some camouflage tape stick it out somewhere and this can be great for a geocache and so they're they're probably looking at specific people for specific interests and thing interests and things like that so i was i was still very humble that he had asked me to do that and i just wanted to be up front with my viewers and subscribers letting them know that this is a piece of gear that i did not pay for but I'm still going to be honest in my evaluation on that. Uh, I probably will not be keeping this piece of gear. I will, uh, I'm coming up on a thousand subscribers, which uh, I've been on YouTube coming up on, I think, four years now, and finally hitting the thousand subscriber mark. Um, numbers is not important to me. Uh, I just, I want to get some good information out there, and I've made some uh, good acquaintances. I would even call them friendships. Um, with some people through YouTube haven't had a chance to meet face to face but I've talked with uh, some other people on the phone and have really had good time uh, good time talking to them and also some other contacts through Facebook etc 
So uh, probably what I will do with this, uh, I'm going to do an unboxing video, show you guys what I have. Then I'm also going to do another video on after I get a chance to look at the product and have a few days with it, go over it, take some notes on it, and look at some pros and cons about it. And then I'll shoot another video on that. And then I'll probably do a third video on some usage um, and, and put it through its paces. I've got three boys. I might send it to school with them for a couple of weeks and see how it holds up uh, and do that. Uh, so that probably leads you a little bit that this is not a tactical piece of gear that they sent me if I'm going to send it to school with my boys. Uh, so let's uh, quit messing around. I know y'all are looking for me to open this up. Y'all probably, if you're to this point, you've probably fast forward through my intro and looking at what I've got. What they sent me was a, a YOLO uh, day pack. It's a 31 liter capacity backpack. And so that's what we're going to be reviewing later on. Uh, my first impressions when I opened up the box, and that's why I wanted to, to try to do this when I first opened it, it's a good looking pack. Um, I don't know what the materials are, I haven't read through any, any of this, and I will do that before I do my next review. But just overall looking at it and having looked at backpacks for three kids, I think this is going to be an excellent excellent you know go bag get home bag day bag i don't know uh, i'll look at it and see how it's configured and we'll go from there also second thing if you've hung around this far into the video which is coming up on seven minutes uh give or take i'm also going to be having a contest and i will come up uh probably within the next 10 days i'm um, shooting around some ideas in my head and that's a lot of empty space up there for things to bang around for a while I'm coming up with some ideas for a contest, uh, not only for this, uh, I'm also thinking of giving away some 22 ammo, not this particular 22 ammo, but maybe a brick um, of some 22, 500 rounds, and then maybe even um, some smaller things. I'm, I'm, so I'm, that's what I'm trying to do is come up with some ideas on some things that I can give away. Uh, definitely the first thing I'll give away is this backpack. Um, the, the boys already have backpacks. I probably will not wind up uh, sending it to school with them, but we'll look and, and mess around with it a little bit and see see what we can do. Uh, but that's what I got from Outdoor Products. We're going to be doing an re in-depth review on the bag itself and looking at some of the possibilities for that. So look for that here in the next uh, 7 to 10 days as I get some time to, to look at it and peruse it and go through all the nooks and crannies of it and give it a good once-over. And we'll get that video up. Also, look for another video coming up on a contest giveaway. Uh, probably a thousand subscribers. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, uh, I looked this morning. I was at 975 or something like that. Um, so once I hit a thousand, or I might just run it through the end of March. Today is March 9th, so I might just run it through. This is going to post on the 10th. So this is Sunday. It'll post tomorrow, Monday. And so look for that. Uh, in the next couple of days, and I'll probably run the contest maybe even through mid-April. I don't know uh, We'll just have to look at the time and, and see how things go, but I appreciate you watching YouTube um, Trying to think if there's anything else I need to say probably not do what you can with what you have where you're at